So here's a quick tutorial about uh, animating with multiple cameras in Blender. This is a follow-on from our last video where we talked about animating cameras in Blender and this one will teach you how to use multiple cameras. Uh, so we're going to use the same file, same setup as we had in our last uh, video. So we've got this quick camera animation here. Its focus point as defined by this empty is animated. It's the camera's aperture or f-stop is animated. It goes from f2.8 at frame 1 to f.4 at frame 100. Uh, and the camera's position, of course, as you can see in our overhead view here, is also animated between those frames. So let's say I reach frame 100 here and I really just want to switch to a second camera. And that's actually pretty easy to do. Um, so first of all I'm going to create a new camera, shift A and click on camera and that creates a new camera object called camera.001 and it's right here at my 3D cursor point of origin in my in my scene so I'm going to just bring this camera up and kinda stick it next to our other camera briefly for comparison so if we look at these cameras uh, the primary difference between them is that our currently active camera has a filled triangle whereas our our uh, second camera which is not active has an empty triangle um, so what we are going to do here is we need to actually switch this camera to our active camera in order to be able to look through it by tapping zero on our number pad and uh, the way we switch that is through uh, markers on our timeline whoops and I can see I have a marker left over on my timeline. Let's get rid of those so that this will all be fresh. Um, so at frame one, first of all, I want those first 100 frames to stay with my currently active camera. So I'm going to put a marker at frame one. So just tap M on your timeline or go to the marker menu and click add marker. And then with the camera selected that I want to be active, I go back to the marker menu and I click on bind camera to markers you can see that the marker now instead of the frame number has the camera name uh, attached to it. Okay, so now at frame 100, matter of fact uh, we finished this animation at frame 100 so let's go to frame 101 and I'm going to tap M to make a second marker at frame 101. Now I'm going to select my new camera I'm going to click bind camera to markers and you can see that my view over here looking through my camera changed a little bit um, so I'm going to position this camera into a new position shift tilde will allow me to kind of drive it in a first person view one thing you don't want to do this is just a cinematography rule is you don't ever want to flip your camera 180 degrees from the camera you just cut from so you don't want to do something like this. Um, let's frame that up just a bit better so if your viewers will be a little bit disoriented because you can see in this uh, the ball is a little bit to the right of the cube and now in our next shot the ball is a little bit on the left side and and it really kinda gets your viewers disoriented it's it's jarring at the very least even if they can still technically follow what's going on it makes it a lot less pleasant. So we're going to bring this camera back and just position it about 80 degrees off from our first camera and now if we play this animation through our first camera plays for 100 frames and then we cut instantly to our second camera that's because of the timeline markers. Now at frame 200 or maybe 201 I can cut back again. So um, I'll tap M to put another marker on my timeline, click on my original camera which as you can see doesn't have a filled triangle, it's now inactive, go to my marker menu and bind camera to markers. And of course in between you know when the active camera can be animated in any way that I want so from frame 101 I can uh, to frame 200 I can do kind of a nice 
dolly move here with a little bit of camera rotation to keep my subject in view location rotation so now we've got kind of a pull out a little bit of a dolly kind of orbit and then back to a stationary camera and that is how you animate with multiple cameras in blender i hope that's helpful and thanks for watching